hey unicorns and glitter goons it is lady i am coming back to you guys with another video this is going to be a story time video about when my associate told me she likes having sex with ghosts yeah stay tuned friend i'm gonna change their names i was hanging out with my friend ashley my friend ashley brung someone along with her we are going to change our name to leslie leslie and ashley didn't really know each other they were getting to know each other so it was kind of like we were all you know trying to get to know each other as friends so okay cool um just just hanging out ashley disappears on me i don't know where she went i don't know if she went to talk on the phone i don't know if she went to take a shit i don't know all i know is that she disappeared on me so um just hanging out making small talk with leslie it was an item that fell and we were nowhere near it so in a joking way i said oh shit it's a ghost in here we gotta go in a joking way you know um she goes she goes it probably is a ghost in here she's like it probably followed me from home because i have ghosts in my house what 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 do you what do you mean it, it followed it followed you what i was like <laughs> huh she was like yeah we have a lot of ghosts in our house. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So I, I slowly started looking around I'm like, where the fuck is Ashley? Because I'm, I'm not going to do this. She, <clears throat> Leslie goes on to say, yeah, um, we've always felt weird in the house. And we heard stories about uh, our house maybe being haunted. But, um, it was one day me and my husband were high off coke. <laughs> this story, this story is already bad. If you start off with me and my husband was already high on coke, I don't want to hear this. I was like, coke? What the? Okay. She said me and my husband were high on coke. And we decided to do a little seance to talk to the ghost. So I was like, you, I was like, you said coke, like y'all was sniffing. She's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I used to do all that. Where the fuck is Ashley? Has anybody seen Ashley? No, she's she's nowhere to be found. I'm like, all right, okay, okay. She continues and tells me how um, her and her husband used to get high on coke and talk to the ghost. They used to go in the attic and have a little seance. She said the ghost would get into her husband's body and tell her how they died. She's telling me about a little boy. He got... Um, beaten to death by his uh stepmother and how a woman husband killed her because um he she caught him cheating she was gonna leave and he killed her um and also how this guy he got shot but uh it was because they thought he was somebody else so i was like oh my god like that's horrible she said, yeah, the guy who got shot was really young, like maybe 22, 23. And I was like, oh, my God, like, that's 
that's my that's my stuff i'm thinking like we're sitting here talking about ghosts okay i mean i'm all i love all things horror i'm a horror freak but uh i don't want to talk about this so once again i'm looking around for ashley i'm like where the hell is she looking high looking low don't see ashley so <clears throat> she says um yeah the guy who got shot um that's the ghost i see a lot i was like i was like oh oh that's crazy i kept saying oh that's crazy i because i didn't want to hear anything else that came out of her mouth after her and her husband used to do coke and talk to ghosts like that started off scary as fuck so she said um yeah, I used to see him in my hallway all the time, and then he would come in my room, and um, sometimes I would feel my clothes being lifted or taken off after I felt his presence in the room. I was like, he, he was taking off your clothes? She's like, yeah. Um, she was like, yeah, he was a little, little horny little thing. He was always so horny. I was like... How, how do you know the ghost how the hell do you know the, the ghost is horny she said well because i felt so bad for him and how he died and because he was so young he didn't get to do anything we used to have sex i was like run, run that back you had sex with a ghost she said, yeah, we had we had sex a, a few times. So it's not, it's, it's not enough human. It's not enough humans in the world. Because you feel bad for a ghost, it is okay to have sex with them. No, it's not. No, no. I was like, I don't know why I asked this question. I don't know why. But I did. It came out of my mouth. I said, how the hell do you have sex with a ghost? She said, <clears throat> well, when I was laying in the bed, I would feel my clothes being lifted or taken off, and then I would feel a presence on top of me. And she said, I would feel something go in me. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. So you were full-blown having sex with something you can't see she said yeah i would just feel him on top of me and after a couple of minutes i wouldn't feel him anymore i shouldn't have thought this because it was kind of petty i was like damn even as a ghost it's still a couple minutes that's messed up whatever that 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 don't matter it don't matter <laughs> but um i was like i was like um did your, did your husband know? She said, uh, yeah, I told him. And he kind of got upset. And he, um, one day he was high and was, like, cussing at the ghost. And, like, stuff started to get thrown. So I'm guessing the ghost got mad, too. So, not only was she having sex with the ghost, but the ghost. Got mad at the husband for getting mad and was throwing stuff at him. Um, so, I was like, oh, this is crazy. She also said that they wouldn't have normal sex sometimes. She said sometimes she would feel her pants come down and she would feel something that felt like a tongue go in her. Or sometimes she would wake up and she would feel something in her mouth. This is a true story. A true story. I was literally sitting there like. Okay. Okay. Where's Ashley? Ashley's still nowhere to be found. I'm like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear any more about this. She said that <clears throat> at one point it was almost every day and it slowed down. And she said that uh, she was having 
sex with a ghost that she cannot see but she can feel um almost every day but uh now she they don't do it as often it's like okay and the crazy part about this is af a couple weeks after she told me that i had saw a link on facebook and it was an interview of a girl who said she likes having sex with ghosts i even asked i said are you sure you weren't dreaming like you was like maybe like having like a wet dream or something like that she goes no i was fully awake she said sometimes i wasn't i wasn't high or anything i would wake up and i would feel him on top of me or i would feel something in me or i would feel something in my mouth hmm. i was like this this is wow this is crazy so it got it got awkwardly quiet for a couple minutes because i did i i, I didn't want to ask any more questions i didn't want to know anything else and ashley comes back like hey y'all what are we talking about and I literally wanted to punch her in the face for leaving me. And she was like, hey, what's wrong? Everything. Everything is wrong right now. I think about that every day. Do you guys? Well, I thought about that every day for like a couple weeks. I was like, how the hell do you have sex with a ghost? Like, this is insane. I thought about that for like weeks. I even Googled it weeks y'all every day like how the, how the fuck do you have sex with a ghost it it was i'm i'm just done I'm, all right unicorns and glitter goons please let me know what you guys think about that crazy ass story time i promise you guys this is a thousand percent true i wish it didn't happen and i wish i didn't ask more questions but i did so <laughs> tell me what you guys think have you ever <clears throat> heard somebody say that did you guys see the interview of that girl who said she likes having sex with ghosts i'm gonna see if i can enter that clip if i can i'll put it right after this but <sighs> tell me what you guys think below and i will see you guys next video stay beautiful she want to fuck with a nigga from the shy town 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 she want to fuck with a nigga from the shy when did you first encounter a spirit? Um, it would have been about 12 years ago now. I was living with my fiancé. Yeah. And he was working away a lot. We just moved into a new house in Hereford. And um, after a while, he was going away maybe one week, two weeks at a time. I started to feel kind of like a presence, maybe, I guess you could call it, around the house. Yeah, which is, then, some people would be a bit a little scared of, but you weren't no, scared by it. It never felt scary. It felt comforting, if anything. And <laughs> even when it, it, even when you were in, a, this all happened sort of in the spare bedroom, that was where it was, you know, it was yeah. at its most yeah, powerful. Um, even when it came up behind you and you could feel its mm. breath on your neck, yeah. that still didn't freak you out. Not at all, no. So <laughs> then you decided that you would take it to the next level and you dressed in a very sexy negligee yeah. <laughs> and you went into the spare bedroom and uh, and uh, turned the lights off and waited i did yes and what and happened, what happened? Um, i waited and waited for a while and then i got a little bit worried i thought maybe i'd scared it off by being too keen oh okay and then sort of just as i'd given up hope and was starting to fall asleep it came to me and, and, and what happened um it I just don't know what I can say on well, TV. Well, you just had to, like, wait. You, you, had, just, you had sex? Yeah, I had sex with the so, ghost. With a ghost? Yeah. Yes. But you can't wrap your arms around a ghost. No. So how, what, how, physically, how does, um, how, how does the sex bit happen? You, you can still feel it. Like, it felt, it was kind of, oh, it's difficult to explain. Like a weight? Kind of a weight, but at the same time weightless. And like a physical, there's the breath and stroking. And the energy as well. I think the energy was a lot to do with it. Do you feel a connection? And does a sexual experience with a ghost end in orgasm? Um, for me, yeah. But I say, wow. Not a fan for the ghost? I just hope so. <laughs> and uh, this, this um, re relationship carried on for some time and eventually you got busted by your boyfriend. I did, yeah. I was, um, he came home from work a day early and apparently he says he saw a, the shape of a man through the spare room window. 
when he pulled up, which oh, is which... unusual because the the, go the spirit had ne or ghost had never showed him his physical form to you at all, yeah, and yet to your fiance did. Yeah, I which I was slightly annoyed about to be honest, but I think I think it was in love with me too, and that so was he his, wanted to he wanted you to end your yeah, relationship, which it did. So yeah. so the this re the relationship with this particular spirit fizzled out, out over a period of time, and, you, and I'm sort of sort of trying to figure out what it is that goes wrong in a relationship with, with a ghost, because you can't have the normal arguments like you haven't put the bins out or your conversation is boring <laughs> or you know I don't like the way you're wearing your hair and all of those sort of <laughs> things. So was it just down to the fact that you both got just, bored with the yeah, sex? I think so I think it was just one of those things that just started to happen less and less and started to appear less. Then after that relationship ended, I mean, there have been m many other spirits um, that have come to visit you. Yeah, have been, yeah. And some have lasted sort of one time, but some yeah. have lasted a little bit longer. Yeah. Do they, do, are they very different sorts of relationships? Have they got different energies? Yeah, you can always feel the difference. The same just with, with a human, I guess. You can just feel different presences, so different not, personalities. So it's, it's not the same one coming Whereas, back 20 times? No, no, it's often different ones. Yeah. And um, you say, because, because since your first sexual encounter with the spirit, you've, you haven't had human contact in that way since. No. So once you go ghost, you never go back? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Is that right? It is, yeah. It's, I would never, I've got no interest in men now. But what about children? Because that surely is not possible. I don't know. I've done actually a bit of research into phantom pregnancies recently, which I know sounds well, phantom ridiculous. pregnancy doesn't mean you have a phantom. It doesn't, but actually, there's case studies where people have done a bit of research, and there's... I'm trying to think how to explain. Yeah. But there is sort of possibilities that it could actually be maybe the ghost of a child within you, but people don't know how to carry it on to full time kind of thing. Oh, but, and yeah. you, you, would, you like, would you like to become pregnant with it? Yeah, at some point, not now. But I mean, that would be quite I a unique know. thing to see, wouldn't it? A go <laughs> like a ghost, the ghost <laughs> baby. <laughs> like, so, um, uh, yeah. be like Casper. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> do you, um, do you, because we, we spoke to Chris French, who we've had on many times um, here, and asked what he thought, because he always likes mm. to put the argument against uh, these sorts of things, and he said that what might be happening to you could be explained by sleep paralysis, which is just in those mm. early moments of sleep yeah. uh, where you're a conscious but your subconscious mm. takes over and many people describe yeah. sexual feelings that happen, that it yeah. could be that. Could, could that be a possibility or not? I don't think so, because my first ghost um, used to follow me around the house and kind of lure me in, so I was definitely awake while I was walking around. Mm. So, so okay. does, it, does the, the, the sex part of it always happen in the same room? No. So no, they can't. Yeah, once my fiance had left, it was. Everywhere. It could be. It could be anywhere. Yeah. Is it outside the house? It's always within the building. Uh, yeah. So is, is it the house? Do you think? I mean, obviously I you as know. well. They find you attractive, but <laughs> I should imagine you've got quite a name for yourself in the spirit world. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the for the future, uh, you, the, the, for, uh, you the, no need for uh, a boyfriend or husband or anything like the, of no. the human kind. You are happy now. This is this is for you the way the way it you is, want your life yeah, to be. Yeah, dearly, I'd like to find one that I would like to settle down with and spend the rest of my life with. But yeah. yeah.